GTA 6. Delayed, delayed, delayed. You get the point. You know what's not delayed? Gemini 3. It launched today, and we're going to use Gemini to create Grand Theft Auto. So let's get started. We have a tab here, and we're going to say, I want a nice menu screen, and then create a game inspired by Grand Theft Auto. You should be able to get in and out of cars, and or walk around. Make it a Miami feeling. And we're going to hit Submit. This is the new Gemini 3 model, and if you're not aware, the Gemini 3 model is destroying benchmarks. So you can kind of read through the blog post here, which I will have a link in the description below, but you can actually see the different benchmarks here. I'm just going to like zoom in so you guys can see it a little bit easier. And you can see Humanity's Last Exam. You can see Gemini 3 Pro, and this is without tools. This is with search and code execution. It scores up to 45.8%, and the next highest is 26.5%. And this is a very hard challenge, a really hard test for AI. And if we keep going through the list, you're going to notice that it scores really high in everything. Math, physics, coding, it doesn't matter. You throw it at it. It does a very good job. It is ahead is some of it's like just by like points. Others is ahead by a lot, by like a landslide. The only one is the SWE benchmark, which is for agentic coding, but it scores very close to Claude. So it's like neck and neck. But if you notice the jump from Gemini 2.5 or the 2 series to Gemini 3 is massive. But these are just benchmarks which can be gamed. The question is, is how do they work in real world testing? And if we come to the Franklin A website, I actually have a code test that I do for all the different models. So if you go to more, there's AI code test, and we're going to run all of these tests in this video. But also, we're going to see if we can keep coding back and forth, keep prompting our model, keep prompting Gemini 3 to create a Vice City game. And we can see here we have Vice City Drift. Now let me move myself out of the way so you can see. This is the first iteration. This is from one prompt, which is kind of wild already. We have a nice menu. I like the colors. It looks cool. So we can enter cars with F and to break. Okay. So listen, I never said to make it 3D, but hey, listen, this is pretty cool, right? It's not bad. Uh, can we kill this? Let's try getting in a car so we can get in a car. Ooh, it has headlights and it spins around. Okay, so we're making good progress. I think this is cool. Let's try to tell it now. So make it 3D or appear as if it's 3D. So we're going to let that run and we're going to come back and forth throughout this video. Let's try our first code test. We have Angry Birds here. And the way this works is if you're new to the channel, definitely subscribe. I cover AI on a daily basis, but I have this prompt here. So it gives us a prompt about Angry Birds. I'm just going to copy it over. We're going to get it going. And I am using the thinking model for all of these. So maybe I'll jot that in somewhere. But on this code test here, you can see the prompt. We can see code. And you can actually use the drop down and you can see all the different code for different models. So if you want to see what Gemini 2.5 Pro did on this date, you can actually see the code for that Gemini 2.5 Pro way back when I did the test. And you can go to preview and you can see angry shapes way back when, and you can see what it looked like and how it worked. So you can do this for any of the models. So if you want to see what Claude Sonic 4.5 recently did, we can see that. And Claude 4.5 Sonic, if I remember correctly, it was a little bit broken. But anyway, you can see what Angry Birds look like. And let's go see what Angry Birds looks like now with 3.0. And this is called Furious Fowl. So the fowl is angry. The birds are angry. And I'm just going to keep jumping back and forth. Okay. Apparently, apparently, it switched from a 2D canvas to using 3.js. And it's funny because when we do the GTA test later in this video, because I have that on here on this list, I'm going to be telling it to use 3.js. This time around, I don't want to tell it. I just want to see what it's able to do. And it also has physics so and lighting. So let's see what it looks like. All right, uh, this is wild. It says we're downtown. It says we're on foot. So it kind of tells you all that. It can't move the cursor around. I feel like I want to do that next, but this is already really cool. So we connect with the car. This is awesome. It looks amazing. The lights look really good. 
So a couple more prompts, and I think we can start building something that's pretty good. So normally I wouldn't prompt AI to do all this in one go because it's just way too much, but I really want to try Gemini 3 and see if it's capable. So our prompt is, hey, make the cars faster, allow the user to use their mouse to move around at actual streets. And let me just adjust that. I know how to spell sidewalks, street lights, and make the cars drive around following the road rules. Ensure there is daytime and nighttime cycle. So let's hit submit. Let's see if it's able to take all of that in and pull it off. All right, the Angry Birds test. And we can see here, we can hit play and we have a level selector and unfortunately we can select any level even though we didn't complete the prior level so that's something that the old gemini did for this exact prompt but it's already starting to look a lot better and wow okay this is cool Ooh, the slingshot's really really cool look at that you can actually kind of see it right and how well does it work can we do this all right that was beginner's luck clearly we have three stars score 500 uh where is our pig there's no, there's no pig on this level. It says it's one. Where is it? Pig? Okay, so there's no pig on this level. Let's try the next or just another random level. So it does look really good. The pig actually like kind of explodes, which is kind of cool. The level completion screen's not popping up. Apparently there's another pig on here somewhere. I just don't know where it is. Let's try level 10. Uh... All right, well, listen, Angry Birds. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the code from here. I'm going to copy it all over and I'm going to put it on the website. So you're going to be able to see this in the model list and you're going to have a point in history. So let's go check out our GTA game and then we're going to go back and try another code test. So let's see if it is better. Apparently it has updated and let's see what it's done. A city grid system, mouse look around, day night, traffic with AI and physics. That's a lot all in one go. So we can try Try it out here we can hit play and we can see we have the ability to move around now cars are able to run us over we can still see we're on foot in the top right it tells you the time so there's like an am and all that so let me see i jumped in a car but i still can't move so i need the ability to move around let's give that in as a prompt and hopefully this fixes it while that is working let's come back here and let's try the next one this time around we're doing this large prompt here which is minecraft and for each of these prompts i really want to try like different things so that's the whole premise of this video or these videos in general i always try to give prompts some are like really detailed and give exact instructions and others are just more like open and to see what the model can do. So just like before, I just want to show you some like previews. This is Sonnet 4.5 and what it was able to do. It worked really well, but it was also super laggy and you can see I'm actually like under the ground. Uh, I, if I remember correctly, and I, you can see I've done this test quite a bit, the best model was like either Perplexity Labs I, I believe Perplexity Labs was really good, if I remember correctly. So we're going to see it. So this was Perplexity Labs, and yeah, it was, like, really smooth. Like, you can see, it's really quick, and the world is generating as you go. So you can also, like, select a different block, and then pick and select, throw it down that block. So that was, like, a really good model, uh, which is crazy, because it's, like, Perplexity Labs. If you want to see Gemini 2.5 Pro... We can see that one as well. This one was really good, but again, a little bit slow. But you can see this was like the same exact prompt we're about to try with Gemini 3. This is what we're able to accomplish. So let's come back here and we can see here it is coding. And is it done? Nope, it is not done. So we'll be back in just a second when this is finished. Oh, I spoke too soon. It is done. All right. No editing for me. So, all right, start world. And it's very dark and I cannot move around. So I feel like Gemini 2.5 was better for this individual prompt. I'm going to only ever add the code for the first initial prompt. This is really smooth, by the way. Like it is really fast. I feel like with one extra like prompt on top, we can make this like really, really good. But for the sake of these code tests, it is one single prompt. What is it able to do? So this is the version we have. In the background, I'm updating the GTA game and I'm just adding more tweaks and improvements. I'm going to show you the updated version shortly, but I just want to remind you to subscribe at Cover AI on a daily basis. All right, up next, we have subway servers here, but with cars. So we're going to copy this prompt. We're going to come back here. We're going to hit paste and submit. So we can see subway servers with cars. We can see the preview. This is Claude 4.5 Sonnet, which was an error. We can see what Gemini 2.5 Pro has done. and 
we can see this one here. It was the D-pad that we can go back and forth and eventually we go off the map. Then we have GPT-5 and you can see this version here, which looked really cool, but you're like floating in the sky. I don't know exactly what was going on here, but it was kind of weird. So anyway, let's see what Gemini gives us. This one is called Highway Horizon. All right, so this is my first time looking at this game with you. We're going to hit Start Engine and we can use the left or right arrows or A and D to move. So let's see how well. Okay. Uh, it looks really cool, but, and here's the big but, it's not very functional. Does that make sense? Like, I, can, I can't really move left or right. Again, I feel like we're like a prompt away from making this really, really cool, but currently as it stands, you can't really control the car. So you can see like, I'm moving, I feel like I'm not really doing anything. It's just kind of going back and forth, it's swaying. Graphically, the best model, without a doubt. This is the best looking one, and it's like the closest to having something that's really cool and functional in one prompt, but I feel like we need that second prompt to just, just really fine tune it and make this game like really great. But hey, this is how the coding challenge works. So copy this over and put it on the website. Meanwhile, I gotta tell you, the Vice City Drift 3D is starting to really polish up. It looks amazing. I'm gonna have that towards the end of the video. So let's continue forward. What's next after Subway Surfers, but with cars, we have Sonic. And this test has always been actually like a lot of 